Hello and thank you for becoming one of the collective. I'm Simon from Constant Collectible and thank you for joining us for issue one of On the Shelf, the podcast, where it is our mission to collect the news and the reviews in a world of geek culture for you to enjoy. In issue one of On the Shelf, we take a look at the new miniseries from IDW Publishing from Lo- uh, where Rob Liefeld takes on everyone's favorite ninja. We head over to Image Comics, where solo artist Jacob Phillips and writer Chris Condon break into the scene with a brand new ongoing series. So, our first shelf, we see that IDW Publishing and Rob Liefeld have given us our first look at Snake Eyes Dead Game Number 1, the first issue of the explosive new comic book miniseries written and illustrated by Rob Liefeld. Snake Eyes has been a been the most mysterious member of the G.I. Joe team, but within the pages of Dead Game, he finally be forced to play his hand. How long can he keep his past classified, and what deadly secrets will come back to haunt him? Liefeld had this to say about the book. G.I. Joe was the first obsession. Those were the toys in the sandbox with me. Kung Fu Grip, Eagle Eyes, I had all of them. G.I. Joe is a world of characters that I have always aspired to participate in. Liefeld continued to say that Snake Eyes was a profound influence on my creating Deadpool. Producing this series is an all-time bucket list achievement for me. The IDW editor-in-chief, John Barber, had this to say, I've seen Rob's excitement about G.I. Joe for years. I'm thrilled and amazed to see that finally coming together in the biggest Snake Eyes comic book in decades, maybe ever, there's a real... Electric charge in the air every day as new pages come in, everyone seemingly topping the last. The first issue of Snake Eyes Dead Game will arrive in stores in June 2020. We now head over to Image Comics where critically acclaimed criminal colorist sorry, and first-time solo artist Jacob Phillips along with writer Chris Condren break onto the scene with a brand new ongoing series called That Texas Blood, launching from Image Comics in May 2020. In a recent interview, Condon had this to say, I've always had a fondness of the West, where you're a kid, it's the Old West. Cowboys and six-shooters and lawless frontier of Deadwood and Tombstone. As you grow older, you learn the truth about the place. You see that as it is today. The character, the grit, the creeping darkness of the vast landscape. You learn it through Portis, Thompson, the Coens, through books, television, or even the news. Texas is America's mystical land where laws don't necessarily apply, where right isn't always right and the gun can be the every hip of every itchy finger ready to pull the trigger. I wrote a story about a place, more so the feeling it invoked, the character that grew from that wasn't a sinister villain, but a good man with a complicated relationship with his, his place in the world. What came were the dreams of Texas, dreams of a sheriff trying to make the right in a wrong world. What came was Joe Bob. He's almost like a friend now. I hope you'll feel the same. Like Paris, Texas gut punched by No Country for Old Men, this mature neo-Western crime series kicks off with the search of a casserole dish leads to a dark, intense confrontation on Sheriff Joe Bob Coates' 70th birthday. Phillips added, What we've basically got is a modern-day western crime tornado that tears up Texas. What's not to love? I just hope you all love it as much as I do. Sheriff Joe Bob Costas has always lived in Fort Lehman. Or Lehan. Let's say Lehan. He's always been in Ambrose County. It's always been in his blood. It's a Texas thing, but the crimes don't stop, and they don't get easier. For some reason, they keep getting worse and worse, and, well, it's Texas, and Joe Bob is tough. Maybe he's tough enough to fight it to the last. It's in his blood, after all, that Texas blood. That Texas blood number one, cover A by Jacob Phillips, and that Texas blood, cover B by Sean Phillips, will be on the shelf Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. And that wraps up our first episode. Our email here is at constantcollectible at gmail.com, where we'll be back next week and find out what's next on the shelf. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to all things Constant Collectible, and keep to date with the news and the reviews of the world of geek culture. Thanks for listening. 
can't wait to see you next time.